Story time, story time. Oh, 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 it's story time. Story time, story time. Let's read a book! Hello and welcome to Storytime. Today we are in Fincastle, Virginia at the Virginia Mountain Winery. I've been living in our van so my hair probably looks great. Today we are going to read Little Red Riding Hood. Once there was a sweet little girl who was loved by everyone, especially her grandmother. The old woman had sent the little girl a riding hood made of red velvet, and because she always wore it, people called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother handed her a basket, saying, Take these goodies to your grandmother, for she is ill, and they will make her feel better. Now go directly to grandmother's house and don't run off the path. And when you get there, be sure to say good morning. And when you get there, and don't peek into all the corners as soon as you go inside. I'll be careful, said Little Red Riding Hood, and she waved goodbye to her mother. Now it happened that the grandmother that the grandmother lived in the woods, about half hour's walk from town. As Little Red Riding Hood walked through the forest, she met a wolf, but she was not frightened, for she, she did not know how bad he was. Good day, said the wolf, and where are you going this morning? To grandmothers, replied Little Red Riding Hood. She is very weak and ill. I am bringing her this basket of goodies. Then the wolf asked where the grandmother lived and Little Red Riding Hood replied, her house is deep in the wood under the big oak trees near some hazelnut bushes. The wolf thought to himself, this young girl will taste delicious. She will be more tender than the old woman, but somehow I must get them both. Then he walked along with Little Red Riding Hood, remarking, Just look at all the pretty flowers and listen to the songs of the birds. Why are you hurrying on your way when it's so delightful out here in the woods? Then Little Red Riding Hood looked around her. Golden sunlight shone through the trees. Colorful flowers were everywhere. Suddenly, she thought, it would not take me long to gather a few flowers and grandmother would be happy if I brought flower, brought her a bouquet. So she began picking the flowers. Each time she picked one, she saw a prettier one a bit farther from the path. And so she wandered deeper and deeper into the woods. Meanwhile, the wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house. He knocked on the door and the grandmother asked, who was there? It's Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. I have brought you some goodies. Please open the door. Lift the latch and come in, said, Gra said Grandmother. I am too weak to get up. So the wolf lifted the latch and ran in. And in no time at all, he had eaten the old woman. Then he climbed into the bed and pulled the bed curtains shut. Little Red Riding Hood went on picking flowers until she could carry no more. Then she remembered her grandmother. She continued on her way. When she reached her grandmother's house, the door was open, but as soon as she stepped in, she felt a bit uncomfortable. Good morning, she called, but her grandmother did not answer. Then she went to the bed and drew back the curtains. How odd her grandmother looked with the covers pulled up high and her cap pulled down so low. See the wolf over there? Oh, grandmother said Little Red Riding Hood, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, said the wolf. Oh, grandmother, what large eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to see you with, replied the wolf. And grandmother, what huge hands you have, exclaimed Little Red Riding Hood. 
the better to hold you with, replied the wolf. But oh, grandmother, what sharp teeth you have, cried Little Red Riding Hood. The better to eat you with, growled the wolf, and swaddle, swallowed Little Red Riding Hood in one gulp. Then he fell asleep and began snoring loudly. It so happened that a hunter was passing by and he thought to, them, thought to himself how loudly the old woman snores today. I had better see if she is all right. When he entered the room, he saw the wolf asleep in the old woman's bed. So there you all are, you old sinner, thought the hunter. How long I have searched for you. At first he planned to shoot the wolf, but when he did not see the old woman, he knew she had been eaten by the wolf. Perhaps she can still be saved, he thought. Then he took out a pair of scissors and cut open the wolf's stomach. Out sprang Little Red Riding Hood, crying. Oh, how frightened I was. It was so dark inside the wolf's stomach. Then the grandmother came out too, for she was still alive. Little Red Riding Hood quickly ran out and found some huge stones, which she put inside the wolf's body. The wolf woke up and tried to run away, but the stones were so heavy that he fell down dead. Everyone was happy then. The hunter took the wolf's fur home with him. The grandmother ate the goodies that Little Red Riding Hood had brought, and she began to feel much better. And Little Red Riding Hood said to herself, I will never again run off the path when my mother tells me not to. And that is Little Red Riding Hood. Story time, story time. Oh, 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 it's story time. Story time, story time. Let's read a book!